if a random stranger were to pop onto your campus, they would probably look around and say, whoa, why are kids doing that? You know, and there, that might be, I don't know what it could be, but, but something that's not usual for a school. Now, um, so that leads to both sort of controversial or potential, you know, safety issues. How do you guys handle those kinds of things? Like uh, some schools have sort of certifications or do you have ways mm -hmm. to kind of make sure safety is maintained and that people aren't going off and doing something truly crazy? Um, we, we do have certifications. That's, okay. that's also how we handle it. So any any uh, activity or any resource that's that, that that requires a certain kind of skill or has some element of, of you know as a safety consideration the children have to do a cert so they have to do a kitchen cert if they wish to independently mm. use the kitchen or in the woodwork room or even for tree climbing there's a cert mm -hmm. you know how to assess a tree and how to you know sort of just so we can be confident that the children can do so safely and and uh, you know won't hurt themselves that's how we handle most of it but then general safety it's it, there are some community agreements we call them rather than laws so there are agreements about where you can go on on the site and mm. where the boundary is so we don't have a fence for example the the the, the site is open to the car park and then onto the mm. road so we are operating on trust that the children know that's the boundary and you don't go on the road mm -hmm. so quite a lot of it is is simply through our agreements and and the trust that those agreements will be upheld this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.